Hi and welcome everybody. Welcome to the Virtual College Exploration for All Virginia Students, sponsored by the Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Counselors and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. Just a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button to uh, type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. And this is just one of many different sessions happening. So be sure to check out the full schedule at strivescan.com slash Virginia. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website, strivescan.com slash Virginia. And so now I'm going to turn it over to our first presenter from Randolph-Macon College. Take it away. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you all for joining us today. Um, there we go. We've got the slideshow up. Um, so, like Joel said, my name is Eric Snader. I'm the transfer admissions rep from Randolph-Macon College, as you can see up on the screen. Um, so I just want to go over a few really quick points um, and highlight a couple different facts and figures about our school before getting into some of the nitty gritty aspects of transferring um, to Randolph-Macon College. So. Um, as you can see, this, this page is full of a lot of different stats about our school. Um, I would point first to um, the fact that our school is 1,530 students strong. Um, so we are a small private liberal arts school in Ashland, Virginia. Um, that's about 20 miles north of Richmond, about 90 miles south of Washington, D.C. Um, at Randolph-Macon, students can uh, major in over 40 different majors, minors, and pre-professional programs. Um, in addition to really strong academics where our students are studying abroad, where our students are getting really great research opportunities, um, we also have a really strong student life on campus. One of our, um, one of our strongest uh, one of the strongest aspects of our school is our um, our community. The fact that people at Randolph-Macon are not just a nameless face in the crowd, but people are known, people are accepted, people are welcome for who they are. Um, and here at Randolph-Macon, we strive um, to really get to know you as a student. And that's no different um, throughout the transfer process. Um, I do also want to point out that our application is free and students can apply either via the Common App or through directly through our website. We are okay with either. Um, so if by the time this night ends and you're thinking, man, applying would be great, that's how you do it. Um, as far as financial aid goes at our school for transfers, um, it's fairly straightforward. It's primarily based upon um, your FAFSA information, as well as the cumulative GPA that you're bringing in to um, transferring to Randolph-Macon. So you can see here um, sort of the, the three different sets of merit-based scholarships that students are able to earn um, based upon their cumulative GPA. Um, merit-based scholarships are automatically considered um, upon application, so you don't need to fill out a separate application in order to be considered for merit-based scholarships. And then we also have a variety of different um, needs-based aids, um, options, grant opportunities, state-funded opportunities, federal-funded opportunities, uh, based off of the FAFSA information, which can be submitted as early as October 1st, which I'm sure any of the other admissions counselors here would be able to tell you. Um, with that being said, that's just a really quick skinny rundown on what things are like at Randolph-Macon, but I really wanna dig into uh, the transfer process with us here at Randolph-Macon as, um, as an institution. Um, one of the things that we really pride ourselves on is the easy process um, for transfers to be able to move into, um, whether they're coming from a two-year institution and coming in with an associate's degree, whether they're coming from a four-year institution, um, whether they're coming with one semester of collegiate experience or three years of collegiate experience. Um, 
we do have a guaranteed admissions agreement, particularly for students who are coming to Randolph-Macon from um, community college with an associate's degree. More information about that is up on our website. Uh, in addition, we also have a really great track record of working with our students um, on transferring their credits over. So up on our website, we do have a transfer equivalency guide, um, which can give you a rough idea for how many credits you can expect to transfer over to a Randolph-Macon transcript. Um, in addition, we do transfer upwards to 75 credits, depending on how many that you're bringing in. Uh, the other thing that I would note is that we are a Phi Theta Kappa honor roll school for transfer students. Um, and as I said before in the presentation, here at Randolph-Macon, our, our main goal is to make sure that you as an individual are known, that you as an individual are heard and respected. Um, so one of the things that I try to do as the transfer admissions counselor is to provide as personalized a support as I can for you, the student. Each and every transfer application is different. Each and every student is coming in with a different set of experiences, a different set of skills. Um, not every transfer application necessarily requires the exact same materials. So it really does require that sort of catering and that personalized support. And I am more, more, more than happy to work through that in whatever way that looks for you. Um, so with that being said, I do wanna provide some of my contact details here for you this evening. Uh, if you are interested in Randolph-Macon, if you wanna learn more about the school, um, if you wanna learn more about some of the programs that we offer, um, like nursing, like um, pre-med, like um, all the other really great programs that we offer, if you wanna learn more about our student life program or sports or anything like that, please feel free to send me an email or give me a call and I would be more than happy to work with you. But thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I guess now is the time for me to cede the floor for someone else. Great, thank you so much. Um, so next up is St. Vincent College. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Christina Andre, and I am, as she said, from St. Vincent College. Uh, we are in Latrobe, Pennsylvania, which is about an hour east of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, um, there we go. And I wanna let you know that we are a co-ed, nationally ranked, private, Catholic Liberal Arts and Sciences College. And the photo you're looking at right now is of our beautiful Dupre Science Pavilion. Um, our campus is a beautiful blend of wonderful new facilities and yet man maintaining a, a wonderful tradition and a lot of history here at St. Vincent. Um, again, back to our location, since many of you, I believe, are from Virginia, just to give you an idea um, a little more specifically for some of you, we're about five hours away from Richmond, about five and a half hour drive from Roanoke, and about a three hour drive from Winchester, Virginia, just to put that into perspective for you. Some of the features of St. Vincent that we do take a lot of pride in, um, including include our very personalized attention. And uh, one example of that is our 11 to one student to faculty ratio. Our students really do get a lot of attention at St. Vincent and we take a lot of pride in that. We do not have any classes here taught by teaching assistants. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with TAs, they're wonderful, but we do take pride that we do have our, our faculty teaching our classes. 92% of our faculty do have their doctorate or the terminal degree in their field. So they're um, very accomplished um, faculty. And we have about 1500 undergraduate students here at St. Vincent. A few other um, statistics that give a little bit of insight into the St. Vincent difference. Um, more than half of our classes have fewer than 20 students. So again, really small classes here. All of our students are assigned a faculty advisor who give them, again, a great deal of personalized attention, helping with scheduling, internships, preparing for their careers. Something a little unique about St. Vincent is our Benedictine presence. That would be our Benedictine monks. Um, we have about 150 Benedictine monks here at St. Vincent, and they really add a very special dimension to our campus community. And 16% of our college faculty are uh, Benedictine monks. So again, their, their presence is felt and seen and really makes a difference. 
Our success rate is, again, something we, we are very proud of. So our 2019 graduates, um, our Career Center does a great job in tracking them down, and uh, they were able to track down 90%. And of those, 98% were doing what they set out to do. They were working in their field or in graduate or professional school. At St. Vincent, we offer many options for your academic programs. Um, we do have over 50 majors, and some of our very popular and strong programs are listed there for you, just to give you some examples. But um, biology is our biggest major, I believe. Our sciences are very strong. Our business programs are very strong, and uh, many others that are listed there for you. As far as applying for a transfer admission to St. Vincent, um, of course, you would need an application. Uh, again, you can do ours, you can do the Common App, we're flexible there as well. We are waiving our application fee automatically if you apply by December 1st. We would need your high school transcript, SAT or ACT scores, and a transcript from any college or university that you've attended, as well as a Dean of Students reference form. We offer very generous um, scholarships and grants at St. Vincent. Uh, currently, transfer students get up to about 19,000 per year based on academics, based on their GPA. And we have a variety of other grants and scholarships available, which typically are what we call stackable. So if students qualify um, for more than one, they can usually add those all together and it can add up very nicely in many cases. And for need-based aid, of course, you'll wanna file your FAFSA, as was already said in the last presentation. Um, for student life, we have a very vibrant student life here at St. Vincent. We do have over 50 different um, organizations, all kinds of different clubs and organizations to participate in. For athletics, we are NCAA Division III, and we do have 24 different programs for men and women. We're part of the President's Athletic, Athletic Conference. We also have many different uh, club sports and intramurals available as well. We do encourage you to visit us. That's really the best way to get a good feel for the campus. We are offering in-person visits um, with, of course, you know, um, restrictions in place and, and uh, safety features. But you can go on our website and read about all the details and, and schedule. We certainly encourage you to do that. And finally, uh, my name's there at the top, but I'm actually um, filling in this evening. I usually work with uh, prospective freshmen, but my colleague Sharon Minky is our transfer coordinator. Her information is listed here for you, and if you don't have time to write it down, I know I went through this very quickly, but you can go to our website, www.stvincent.edu, go to admission and meet your counselor, and you'll see all her information there as well. So thank you for your attention, yeah. and I'm going to turn it back over. You have a couple more, Eva. You still have about 45 seconds, but we did stop seeing your screen, so I just okay. wanted to give you a chance to put up the contact information for a couple oh. seconds. Okay, let's see. Sorry about that. Maybe a technical. Um, can you see it now? <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, at any rate, um, Sharon, as I said, if you if you can't see it, um, if you do go to our website, you can you can find all that information there, and she'd be happy to answer any specific transfer questions you might have. Thanks. Sure. All right. Great. So here's our schedule once again, and next up is Roanoke College. All right. Here we go. So my name's Pat and I'm the transfer counselor at Roanoke College. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the school and then answer any questions that you might have. Um, Roanoke is considered a nationally ranked college. We're not regional, we're nationally ranked and every year we receive uh, many different um, accolades and um, top rankings. One of the things that I love about Roanoke that kind of makes us unique is our location. Um, we have an awesome college town, Salem, Virginia. It's a great little college town. It, um, uh, lots of restaurants and breweries and coffee shops and all kinds of things for the students. Um, but also, we're fortunate to be close to a large city. So you have a college town environment as well as a city environment. Um, plus, we're right in the mountains, the Blue Ridge uh, Mountains, we're in the valley, so it's a beautiful area, lots of outdoor activities, whether you want the small um, opportunities within to walk downtown to a college town, as well as to go to museums and concerts at Roanoke, or just do a lot of things outdoors. So we have the perfect location, a little bit of everything. We have a little over 2,000 students, and like I mentioned before, we are nationally ranked. Um, traditionally, we have a 
close to 40 states and over 30 countries. Our student faculty ratio is also very um, small, 13 to one, and we do have some very small classes. Um, one of the things we're excited about is we have over a thousand career mentors where our alums mentor the students and get you prepared for whatever career you're interested in going into. We have over 50 majors and 69 minors in concentration. So a lot of our students double major um, or their major and minor concentrate, um, all kinds of different things. A couple of our newest majors, we have many new majors in education, um, data analysis and an engineering science started this year. So every year we're adding um, new areas for students, new academic areas. Um, our core curriculum is very different. We are very theme-based and topic-based. Now, many of you as transfer students will come in with uh, your gen eds already covered because courses you've taken easily substitute into our gen ed system. But if you have a few you know, courses that you still need to take when you arrive to Roanoke, um, that's okay. You might wanna sprinkle a few of them in with your major. Um, our core is very different. Like I mentioned, instead of taking intro to chemistry, you would have like chemistry and crime, um, just lots of over 125 different theme-based courses. Our students love them. We also have a lot of opportunities on campus. I mean, we have art, theater, music, choirs, ensembles, um, all kinds of things to do within Creative Works. And you don't have to be an art major to take a pottery class or to be in the theater program or to participate in the musical opportunities. Research is available in every academic area on campus. We do a lot of research, um, a lot of opportunities for students. Service learning is very important. Every year, our students build a habitat house and they move it into Roanoke. So uh, we are, and then many different organizations and clubs on campus where you can continue community service. Internships, majority of our students do an internship at some point. And then we also have a lot of study away opportunities. We have the May term where you could study the month of May um, overseas or domestically or on campus. Um, but we also have semester um, travel abroad programs as well as year long programs. Our students go on to do great things. Our career services office, our alumni, our faculty work really well with the students usually within six months over 90 percent of our students are in graduate school or in a job that they're excited to be involved in so we have good opportunities over 100 clubs to participate in our largest one is our outdoor adventures with over 250 students campus ncaa division two 22 sports we just added wrestling this year which was um, we're excited about but a huge intramural program so lots of opportunities I know you're all interested about the scholarships. We have really good financial aid and scholarships for transfer students. Merit scholarships range from 18 to 23,000, pending uh, your grade point average. We have a visit grant if you visit me on campus or virtually. We have fellows and honors grants. Um, we do have an associate's degree grant. We are also a member of Phi Theta Kappa and have a scholarship of $2,500 if you're a member of Phi Theta Kappa. Um, we have a new out of state grant for for students coming from out of state. And we also have a new FAFSA filer grant. So if you file your FAFSA by March 1st, you'll receive $1,000 um, as part of your financial aid package. So we really have uh, very solid programs with our financial aid and scholarships. We have a couple different deadlines. We usually have about 40 transfer students join us in January, and we ask that you apply by November 15th so we can get you going for that. August term, we um, ask you to apply by May 15th. We do credit evaluations before you're accepted. So every time you send an official transcript, we will do a credit evaluation for you and we'll update it every time you send us another one. So we will work with you very closely so that all throughout the whole application process, you'll have a good sense of what classes are transferring in. I think that's about it in a nutshell. So come visit us, um, call me at any time. Like I said, my name's Pat. Um, there's my email address there, phone number, go on the website. I have some virtual visits scheduled every week where we can virtually visit one-on-one. -on -one. I have group sessions, plus we have many visitors visiting us every day, Saturdays and Sundays, so I'm happy to meet with you. Okay.
Fantastic. Thank you so much. And if you're just joining us, we are halfway through our six by six college fair. You're welcome to drop your questions in the Q&A and our presenters will get to them uh, throughout the presentation and we should have a few minutes at the end as well. And next up is our presenter from Ferrum College. Here we go. I am going to get us started here in a minute. Here we go. <clears throat> Good evening. I am Edwina. And um, I want to just start out by saying that FIRM is a place where opportunity exists and success is possible. This is a community where our students push each other to strive to be successful. We have a beautiful campus. We're located in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in Southwest Virginia. We're about 30, 40 minutes south of Roanoke and about an hour and a half north of Greensboro. Tonight, my colleague Tif Tiffany and I are so excited that, uh, to be here and we are grateful that you've joined us to learn more about the opportunities that await you at Ferrum College, home of the Panthers. We're gonna give you a little information and prepare you to begin your journey on the road to Ferrum. At this time, I want Tiffany to share with you the, the format of our presentation. Hey, I'm Tiffany and I will be working the chat feature. Definitely drop any questions you might have. Sorry about that little glitch there, but Tiffany is here and she'll help with the chat. So if you have questions, make sure you just drop those questions in there and she'll get back with you as soon as possible. Here we go. On our campus of about 1,000 students from uh, 25 or more states, we do like to boast about our faculty ratio of about 13 to 1 and approximately 90% of our students do live on campus. We encourage you to seize your future like a panther with our expert faculty and academic programs that prepare you for today's top careers and graduate schools. In our 50 plus majors and minors, you will benefit from personal academic support and many, many hands-on learning opportunities that include internships, it includes research, and uh, study abroad during our E-term. Students who qualify can enhance their education in our Boone Honors Program. 93% of our graduates are employed or enrolled in grad school within six months after they graduate. Our students love to support our athletic teams. We have more than 20 men's and women's NCAA Division III athletic teams. And we are so proud to be a part of the ODAC or the Old Dominion Athletic Conference. Our athletic facilities will far surpass your expectations. I promise you that. I encourage you to schedule a visit to come and see for yourself. With our more than 60 clubs and organizations, you will always find something exciting to do at Ferrum College. We have everything from our intramural clubs to academic and Greek organizations, our Norton Outdoor Adventure Club, and many, many more. All you need to do is to get involved. And at this time, I would like for you to meet one of our current students. Nick, and he's going to tell you a little bit about himself and some of the exciting things that are going on at Ferrum. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Nick and I'm a transfer student that came from Indiana University. I came to Ferrum College to seek a smaller atmosphere, one where I can get involved better with my own professors while also getting a quality education. We're only about a month in the semester, but already I've been able to work as a student worker in the admissions office, which is surrounding me with people that care about my own professional growth while also tasking me with work that can make an actual impact. The motto at Ferrum College is not self, but others, and it really shows when the faculty and staff interact with you. Everyone I've met has been interested in getting to know me personally and to help me along with my career goals. 
Already at um, Ferrum, I've been able to interact with a lot of important people here, such as the head of my degree program, which is something I would have not been able to do at a larger institution. I'll be changing my name in the chat box to my email account if you'd like to get in hold of me. Thank you. And does that sound like a place where you'd like to be? Applying is easy. I encourage you to go online and submit your free application to Ferrum College. We've already begun reviewing and accepting applications for the spring and fall semester. You should also make sure you send us a copy of your transcript. And if, and if you are transferred to FAM with your associate degree, remember that you will have the FAM promise. We promise at FAM that if you have an associate degree, you will receive your bachelor's degree within two years or the additional coursework is free. It's on us. At FAM, we work hard to make sure to make the private college education affordable. 99% of our students receive financial aid. Over $22 million in institutional money each year is awarded. Uh, our financial aid packages average out to be about $40,000. FAM also offers a visit scholarship. We want you to see our beautiful campus and meet our welcoming faculty and students. You simply must come for a personal campus tour or sign up for one of our virtual open house events or other events, and then you will receive the renewable uh, $1,000 visit scholarship. My time is up, so Tiffany and I and Nick have enjoyed being with you this evening. We look forward for your application and transcript. Have a great evening. Great, thanks so much. And then uh, next up, we have Christopher Newport University. Hello, everyone. Let me get this up here. All right, so this is Christopher Newport University. We are located in uh, Newport News, Virginia in Hampton Roads. Uh, my name is Evan Rabel. I am the Director of Transfer Enrollment Services here. I'm also an alum of Christopher Newport. So what makes CNU different? While a number of our applications um, for admission each year have increased, um, our primary focus has certainly been on our size and keeping it small. Um, so we have no plans of getting any larger than we already are, um, and we will stay right where we're at at 5,000 to focus on that undergraduate experience. Uh, less than 200 of our 5,000 students are graduate students, so that is very small. We are large enough to offer a wide variety of opportunities to our students, but of course small enough that you won't feel like you're just a number here. Faculty and staff will know your name and will be there for you every step of the way, and I certainly can say that that's true and as, as an alum of Christopher Newport. 90% of our faculty have the highest degree in their field, but more important, it's their passion for engaging and advising our students inside and outside of the classroom that makes it special. Um, they're accomplished teacher scholars who include undergraduates in their research and serve as mentors each and every day. More than half of our classes have 19 or fewer students and less than 5% have 50 students or more. So very small classes, professors that know you by name and expect you to be engaged in every class that you attend. Um, we don't have large arena style classes or teaching assistants, both of which you'll find at many of the larger state schools. Our best professors are in the classroom teaching our undergraduate students in small classes. Our campus is absolutely stunning. If you haven't been yet, I definitely would encourage you to come. Um, you will see on your personal tour or through one of our virtual engagement opportunities that um, our, our, all of our buildings are state-of-the-art teaching facilities and learning space, spaces. Our residence halls are super extraordinary and really nice, probably some of the best you'll see. Um, and our student life facilities like our rec center and library and student union are also fabulous as well. Uh, we enjoy a wonderful sense of community here. Um, you'll experience it when you are on campus. Our honor code is taken very seriously and our campus is one of the safest in Virginia. We have a speaking tradition on campus and you'll find that students and faculty here hold the door for you and look at you in the eyes when you walk by them. The combination of all these factors usually describes what you expect of a private college experience, but what we offer is the best of both worlds, that private school experience, but that public university price. So of course, the most important endeavor when you come to a college is the academic experience. We offer over 90 areas of study, um, a complete listing of our majors, minors, and concentrations, of course, is on our website for you to explore. 
As part of the liberal arts and sciences curriculum, all students are required to take classes that satisfy the liberal core. Um, but if you're coming to us from the Virginia Community College System or Richard Bland with one of those transferable associates degree, all those requirements are satisfied with the exception of the foreign language requirement, which you can certainly knock out while you're um, working on your associates. We're looking for students who are going to be actively engaged in our campus life. We have more than 200 officially sanctioned clubs and organizations. A number of, um, a large number for our school of our size, of course. Um, our clubs and organizations include, you know, Greek life, pre-professional programs, um, faith-based organizations, intramural sports, club sports. We even have a Quidditch team on campus and a coloring club. So there's something for everyone. Um, year in and year out, we have one of the most competitive Division III athletic programs in the country. Our facilities and fan support are at the top for this level. Uh, we enjoy one of the highest winning percentages every year in Virginia and rank among the top NCAA Division III programs in the country. You spend much more of your time outside the classroom than in it, so we're looking for students who will become involved and contribute greatly to the campus community. Uh, it's a wonderful place to live and learn. Uh, values driven and uh, is a values driven institution. Um, so leadership, servant honor and excellence. Those are the four words that represent our core values at CNU and definitely impact our students each day. Um, so this is the foundation for everything we do here. So this is just a highlight of the admission overview. I'm certainly not going to go through all of these, um, but I definitely wanted to highlight a few of the items on the list. All the details, of course, and more are on our website. So you can either take a, a picture of this real quick or just simply go to our, our website. So some highlights are our full-time enrollment, um, what we're looking for. So at CNU, there is a full-time enrollment requirement. So we are looking that you've been enrolled full-time previously at your current institution and you've, you've done well. Um, we do have a, we are looking for a 3.0 cumulative GPA, but that doesn't mean you can't have a GPA just below that. You'll just want to focus on the other aspects of your application to make it a strong application. Finally, uh, we strongly encourage all applicants to schedule an admission interview. This is an opportunity to validate your interest in CNU by discussing your candidacy with one of us. Um, it's a great way for us to get to know you and to enjoy um, a great conversation with you um, and kind of add it to your admission um, application. So our application for um, 2021 is open. Um, you can see the dates on your screen. We certainly encourage everyone to apply early. Um, spring, the early priority date is October 1st, but of course it doesn't close until December 10th. Here are some of our virtual um, and in-person opportunities to visit with us. So we certainly encourage you to engage with us in one of these ways. Um, and then finally, this is our contact information. So if you have any questions um, or need more information, please reach out to us. We are always happy to help and look forward to hearing from you. All right, thank you so much. And our last presenter for this six by six is West Liberty University. Hey guys, so I don't actually have a PowerPoint, but I do have a video at the end of the pre presentation. So um, West Liberty University, we're actually in West Virginia. Um, I'm broadcasting live actually from Blacksburg, Virginia, though I'm a regional admissions counselor. So I work here in Virginia to, for recruitment. Um, but I've been with West Liberty for eight years. And today I just wanted to tell you a little bit about West Liberty and what makes it a special place um, to continue your education. West Liberty is in the beautiful hills, of the Northern Panhandle, just 10 minutes north of Wheeling. Uh, we're an hour and a half from Morgantown. Uh, two hours from Parkersburg and three hours from Charleston. And then we're just about an hour to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So we're just in that northern sliver of the state. Um, at West Liberty, we have over 70 different majors. We have 50 clubs, organizations, and 18 NCAA Division II sports teams. Our average class size is about 25 students, with our student to faculty ratio being 15 to 1. Our total enrollment at West Liberty is about 2,500 students, which allows for detailed one-on-one -on -one education. Uh, West Liberty ranks in the top 50 nationwide for affordability, while giving out over $6 million worth of annually for scholarships. 
and 90% of our students actually um, receive some sort of financial aid. Uh, West Liberty is, is actually the oldest institute of higher education in West Virginia. It was founded in 1837. Uh, West Liberty was also named the safest college campus in West Virginia, and we we're actually one of the safest campuses in the country. Uh, we also have the highest four-year graduation rate among four-year public schools and universities within the state of West Virginia. Our students learn both in the classroom and in the field through inter internship opportunities. Uh, what makes West Liberty truly great is the amount of one-on-one -on -one attention that you're gonna get from your professors. Uh, West Liberty, at West Liberty, you're not, not just another, uh, a, you're, not, you're not a number, you're a name at West Liberty. Uh, to learn more about West Liberty, we encourage you to visit westliberty.edu. Um, we also um, encourage you to check out our social media. It's at Discover West Lib, and that's on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and at West Liberty U on YouTube and Snapchat. And we also have um, a free application. It's free to apply, um, a pretty quick turnaround on um, acceptance. Um, once you, once you apply, um, so get your applications in. And now I wanna show um, a short video and then after that, that will conclude my presentation. All right, everyone. So we do have a few minutes to answer any questions that are coming up in the Q&A box. Uh, any participants who want to go ahead and ask those questions and if the facilitators would like to either answer them uh, in the chat or read the questions out and answer them live, both options are great ways to communicate with each other. And if we don't have any questions, I'll open it back up to the panelists. If there's any, uh, if you'd like to get in any, in any last words um, before we go, we've got about six minutes. I'll, I'll say mention that I would just encourage students to get out there and visit. A lot of colleges are open now for families to stop by and take some tours. Um, and of course, we all have a lot of virtual opportunities. But if you're feeling like, you know, this fall, and you want to get out and about around the state a little bit. Um, we're really excited. To, I'm sure we all are really excited to give you a tour, show you around campus.
right, well, since it's a uh, pretty quiet for the moment, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up just a minute early. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, for the participants. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. And this is just one of uh, many sessions being hosted this fall. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions at strivescan.com slash Virginia. We've got another six by six coming up in just about 20 minutes. And then in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as other session recordings at strivescan.com slash Virginia. So thank you so much for joining us. I'm sure I'll see a few of you uh, at the top of the hour for our final six by six this evening and have a nice evening.